Whereas, if you look at this, it's Gregory Bowen's on the same line. Now, now if if I go, if we look at, if we look at um, this um, royal decree by La Lady Crown, this is a royal decree, and she's claiming this wood carving is a crown. You know, there's a difference between wood and 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 stone. Stone will last a million years. Wood rots. But anyway, this is what um, Lady Crown is claiming to be. Be um, the she is the she she is the Lady Crown of 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 this um, memorial title. I would assume assume it's supposed to be. But anyway, if you go to the ninth page, you go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. There's the ninth page. Now, you get if you compare, if you compare these two, okay, and you look, you look at all these on the twenty second of December, uh, twenty twenty. You look at at uh, that's Tehene Kingi. Tehene King, that's that's an exact copy. So is Michael Stace there, exact. Now this side is all exact. This side is all exact. Okay. Now, but on this side, even 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 though uh, that's that's a, that's the same. So what what has happened is that all these thumbprints. Were, were actually copied and put onto another document they they transpose they transpose all our our thumbprints onto this one here and what what happened is this okay let's get back to the 22nd of December 2020 what happened after, uh, after, after I had put my seals on all those documents as Michael Stace wanted me to, on we, there were, there were, um, there was myself. There was uh, um, my PA, um, Paula Say. There was um, uh, Tini, Fadi, uh, Tini, uh, Kingi. There was Sharal um, Kumaro and Michael Stace and Michelle uh, Hood. There was there there was there was um, there was a seventh person at the motel at our breakfast. Her name was Karen. Now Karen did not accompany us to to go to the. Um, I, I, well, I don't remember her coming with us to the um, uh, Treasury, the Prime Minister Office and, Greek, and the Governor House. I, I'm pretty sure she remained behind. But anyway, uh, when, I, when I served this document on each of them, the, the original documents, if you look at their original documents that I served, the, it was it was blank it was blank at the back so 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 um if you if you look at all this okay before we went to go and serve this nothing was on the back page this was all blank it was only it was only that only the words copyright now space copy claim that's all it was only that and the and the ribbon but when I served on the governor, uh, on the treasury, I would have served this in this document with the ribbon. Okay, I would have served them one, and what I, I had asked Anthea Williams, the treasury solicitor, to receipt it. 
So that was the first um, writing on the back. Then when I went to the Prime Minister office, and what happened is this. The woman that came, she grabbed, she grabbed mine, as well as the copy I gave her, and she said she would have to go and get someone to, to, to sign it. Because she said she couldn't sign it. And when it came back, it, that it was receipted as that. So I was not a witness who, who receipted it. Okay? That's the Prime Minister's one. Okay. Now what happened after that, we went to the Governor House and um, uh, Gregory Bowen, I did the same thing, gave him, the, gave him, a, gave him a, um, a copy. So each one, each, each, um, when I served it on each, each one had a notarized copy with the ribbon, just like this. So, so after I got these three receipted, one, two, three, we left, we went to the, um, a restaurant. Now prior, pr when we arrived at the restaurant, please note that all these thumbprints, right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The thumbprints, along with um, with our um, our names all written on, on them, took place at the restaurant. So when when we did the done deal, none of those um, thumbprints were actually on the on the documents we we served. So Stacey's one was done at the restaurant? Yes, yeah. Both of them? Both of them. My, uh, my, um, um, Michael Stace put this on at the restaurant. He did it twice. He did it twice. Yeah. And so, so um, you know, it's like, um, well, he did it for a reason. I don't know the reason, but he did it. And But, but it, it's to be noted that this one here, is not the one that I got receipted. So the question is, how, how did this happen? Well, I know what happened now. I can tell you what happened now. What took place again on the 22nd and 12th of 2020 was this. Because after we had done this, we had all all witnessed this document. Uh, uh, both um, uh, uh, Michael Stace and ha um, Michelle Hood took us to the airport. Four of us. Four of us. There were there, there was Hinifari Kingi. There was Shawal Kumalo. Uh, there was uh, myself Hedwika. I knew here we go, and um, I think yeah 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 Paula, Paula that's yeah uh, one 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 two three four we were taken to the airport by Michael Stace and Michelle Hood they took us to the airport now so the question is how did this happen? Well, it's it's quite clear that after they dropped us off at the airport, I think we would have been uh, dropped us off at the airport around about it was about lunchtime, because when it was about um, it was about lunchtime, and we 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 hung out at the airport till the flight came, and then we um, went back to Hamilton. But anyway. You can see here that Michael Stace and Michelle Hood, it look, it appears that they had um, uh, photocopied that, photocopied this, removed, um, removed Anthea Williams, removed the PMO. Uh, signatures and all that removed it 
somehow and put it onto and created another back page that um, um, because when you look when you look at, at the seal there you can see it's got Lady Crown there that's her seal he has got no, got nothing here it's nothing see there's nothing blank that's your one yeah this is the original one that um, uh, this was the one that I got receipted mm. now um, now all of a sudden um, I'm seeing that this one's got the seals on well well um, so it's obvious that um, that uh, uh, um, this one of Michael states that he did up for 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 us didn't have the seal then he read he and then he he had another document that's got the seal. So you can see that that they that um, they must have gone and and to to the um, treasury again. They must have gone to the um, prime minister officer again and to the governor general office again after we had flown back to Hamilton. Four of us flew back to Hamilton. Now, um, yes. So, so uh, I'm just hoping that people can see the bait and switch. It, it's a clear blade, uh, uh, bait and switch fraud. Mm. You can see okay. Bowen's, Bowen's yeah. signature yeah. in a straight line. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. signed Bowen signed it, signed it again. Yeah. And Alfred's copy is is one on top of the other. Yeah. Gregory Bowen. Yeah. That sticks out a mile. Yeah, yeah. The difference in that yeah. one and yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. But so, so, I, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, because you can see at the back, it's at the, at, yeah, at the back, there's a difference. And, you know, um, they put the, they put the crowns, they put the crown, um, crown, no crown, no crown, yeah. And Gregory Bowen has signed one on top of the, his name yeah, up the yeah, top and yeah, the surname yeah, on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And this one's got a crown, yeah, yeah. and signed in a yeah. straight line. So they've they've actually come in, they've actually came in, they actually came in when they when they copied when they copied um, our our um, thumbprints and put it onto their document, okay. And when you when you look at um, this, okay, if, you, if this is what um, um, Lady Crown emailed to myself, she emailed this to me, okay. And, and as you can see, what she emailed is is exactly the copy of 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 my copy, and and you can see that um, the um, uh, the the original that I got receipted is the same. It's got no uh, it mentions nothing about the the motor crown on that. It mentions nothing about the motor crown on that, and then all of a sudden uh, we see this other document. It's 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 got on the on, on their um on their seals. It's got the motor crown um uh, seals on on their on the document that they that they served on on Wellington. That's here. Um, yeah. So all of a sudden, um, the Lady Crown um, embossing appeared. So so is uh, so. It's clear um, you soup the tut in it. Mm. It's, it's, you know. You know They've been I, signed again. Yeah, yeah. Been, I yeah. mean, look, obtaining by by deception and causing it's, loss by deception is a criminal offence. It's a counterfeit uh, 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 breach of the Crimes Act 1961, Section 240. Yeah. Yeah, so that that about sum it up. Yeah. What do you reckon, uh, John? Yeah. No, that's that's yeah. good. You got any questions? No, um, no. Okay. It was that Bowen that yeah. that sticks yep. out a mile yep. with his signature. Yeah. yeah. And today is is yeah. the sixth of June, two thousand twenty-one, yeah. when we're making. Yeah. Uh, Alfred's making a statement yeah. here. Yeah. For lawyers. Oh yes. Well, on I got some other matter here, because look. Uh, this is uh, Lady Crown's letter to myself, and uh, 
in a letter dated the 25th uh, uh, January 2021, uh, it says that, uh, try not to come across with your shadow, yeah, okay, I'll read it out. Um, regarding the Royal Decree Proclamation Judgment 13th of November 2020, served 22nd of December 2020, same time as the Declaration of Order, you uh, were a witness. Well, I was not a witness. I was not a witness to this rule decree being served on the 22nd of December 2020. Yes, I can see that was served on the 22nd of uh, December 2020. But as I explained, that um, when we were um, dropped off at the airport, that I would say that Michael Stace and Michelle Hood went back to the uh, Treasury, went back to the Prime Minister's office and went back to the Governor House and refiled, I mean... Signed the, again. The, the, yeah. They, they, sub, they, they submitted their, cop, their, their uh, copies with our, with our um, some prints and and um and and um claim claim claimed that that um we had endorsed the uh, the crown of the Maori nation uh, moral decree uh, proclamation um well it's not that uh, i i didn't want to support the this royal decree it's just there was no full disclosure and transparency um uh, uh to myself just like at, at Waitangi uh, on the 11th of uh, um, uh, December 2020 and, and um, there was no full disclosure to myself of what I was getting into and, and, and then, um, and then once, once I assisted their resolution all of a sudden um, uh, I've had attacks by the very ones that appoint uh, that um, that um, were part of those that mandated myself to to spearhead that uh, the document, turning around and, and questioning my association with Lady Crown, and I said, well, I got involved because I was asked. I was asked by the by the um, the fucking meaning up at Waitangi, you know. And yet, um, yet I've never had the support of the fucking meaning of, uh, of Waitangi. Okay, um, you know, they tried to they tried to backtrack, but anyway. So it's got here. Regarding, I'll read it again. She, as she says, regarding the royal decree proclamation judgment, thirteenth of November, twenty twenty, served the twenty second of December, twenty twenty. Same time as the declaration order, you were a witness. No, that is a that that is a falsehood. One was one was a witness to to what we served, but not to the serving of this, where they obviously um, uh, took a copy of my page and slipped it into p page nine of ten. Well, this is. This is what got printed out from on the on the on the um, on the um, I think it was a Facebook um, thing, but apparently I, I found out there's uh, there's ten pages here, but I found out there's another fifty three pages that was actually served by uh, Michael Stace. So what what they revealed to us on um, on on uh, Facebook. These ten pages, there, uh, I, I am told there's another fifty-three pages. I am told that there's actually a sixty-three page uh, a document that royal decree. So, um, yes. So, and, and she claims that the royal decree was part of the eleventh of December. Uh, Hui and Waitangi full transparency. Well, that eleventh of December. I'm, I'm referring to would have been that special um, that special hui, that special resolution to assist Lady Crown. No, I was not a part of that. I didn't attend that. I didn't attend that. 
and there's got here both the, the, the crown of the Maori nation and the confederation of chiefs of the united tribes of Aotearoa commissioned the services of Michael states to serve the royal decree and, and declaration full transparency uh, to serve no that is that is not true did they sign it or not well there was there was there was no there was no mention to myself about a royal decree they may have that, that may have taken place on the 11th of December uh, 2020 on the at 9pm 9, 9, 9 when they passed that special resolution to assist our Lady Crown yes they, they, they may have they, they may have um, uh, uh, commissioned the services of, 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 of Michael State to serve said the royal decree and uh, and declaration full transparency but the, but i i actually have to say this since 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 i signed signed for the confederation of chiefs because i've been a member of the the confederation of chiefs for uh 26 years well when that when Lady Crown, who was not even here, so she, this is all based on hearsay, because she was never a witness. She was in Australia. She can't say that um, I was a witness when she was never there to witness that I was a witness. And 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 and, and point two is. Uh, who claiming that the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes of Aotearoa? Well, what right on? Uh, we've never been to Fakamini in the Confederation of Chiefs of Aotearoa. It was Aotearoa. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 no. Um, is it, where and what is Aotearoa? It's obviously. Um, uh, uh, an entity crown copyrighted by um, Lady Crown. So, um, so yeah, yeah. Now this 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 letter would be rebutted, strongly re rebutted, and strongly challenged um, because uh, because you know is this is this a usurped the tut? You know. By by Lady Crown, to usurp the the uh, Minion Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes, whom my uh, whom my document here represented. Mm -hmm. See, so you can see here. You can see. Oh, I'll get the I'll get the photocopy one because I don't want to don't want to keep uh, wearing and tearing the the original ribbon one. So if you, if my seals are here. These are my seals. I got here the Attorney General, uh, uh, the seal of the uh, the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes. Okay, and the Minister for Security and Defence, seal of the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes. And it's of Aotearoa, not Aotearoa. So he's got Aotearoa, and same in this one here. I sign on behalf as the um, Minister for Justice, seal the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes of Aotearoa, not Aotearoa. So, um, you know, for for on the record, uh, it needs to be corrected. You know, for these reasons, uh, the reasons that needs to be corrected. Because if you notice down here, it's dated the 21st of December. Um, uh, 2020 by Michael States. So he, you know, because he was the one that um, that um, uh, if, if you understand that um, these things, these things were pre-signed uh, uh, and um, all pre-signed before we went to serve the documents. So anyway, 
I think that, I think I've covered it yeah, now. now I think I've, you have. Now I've covered that, that, that letter. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, that's all we can do for now. Yeah. Well, until we um, do it again and find something else. Oh, there's another point here. Mm -hmm. Okay. She says, um, um, Lady Crown says, with regards to Michael Stace, he is the webmaster for the Purple Thumb community and Crown of the Maori Nation, whom I commission. We are not his sponsors. You know? Yeah, that, that, that's what she, that's what, um, uh, she is saying. But she said, with regards to Stephen Katipa, he were referred to him by Tohunga Robin Fanga. Well, Robert Fung is a, is a Katipa. Yeah, that's uh, that's um, Stephen's. Um, I'm not sure cousin or uncle. Yeah. And she mentioned that he assisted. Well, well I've already explained that. Yeah, yeah. And as she's got here. He assisted immediately with a sealed letter, which was sent to Air New Zealand Border Control. I was unaware that he was your head head of security. You know, blah blah blah. Yeah. So that explains this document of hers with her crown up yeah, here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That um, even the picture of the crown. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Is is something of hers. Yeah. Not, yes. Not not of yes, um, yeah. the Maori here. Yeah. Yeah. And you um, can you can you can see you can see on um, on, on on her royal decree. She's she's claiming that my document that I served on the day had her had her seal on it. When you can see so, you can see yeah. that the one I actually did serve had no seal on it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. No, in the middle of the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see. So you know. So it we can only assume that the government has been served with this seal copy yeah. of of the ten yeah, pages. Yeah. After that, or yeah. more more of the pages, yeah. and and only yeah. given out ten to you. Yeah, and the yeah, the rest of it has gone to the government with these three signatures on it. From yes, Bowen yeah, and yes, yeah. um, because um, this was this is what was was put up online. Uh, 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 from Lady Crown, she mm. sh she showed um, she showed us this these these ten pages, but I'm I've heard it was a sixty three page document, so there was fifty three other pages that that um, she did she did not disclose till quite a, a um, maybe a, a month or so after after the event. So she, she's assuming that the, the, the Confederation of Chiefs of Waitangi approved of these documents going into the Crown of New Zealand. Yeah, well, there's, the, 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 well, there was a special meeting with some of them that, that may have um, given uh, the, the support and total to that, but, but I'm saying I was not part of them. And that um, because because I was actually the official uh, representative mm. for the Fakamini Confederation of Chiefs uh, uh, on the day, that um, so for Lady Crown to say that uh, Ed, Ed, uh, Ed, that, Ed. that to, to to claim in this letter that um, it, it was um, by the two the two two groups who. Her Maori um, crown and the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes. See, because she's got, as, as the Minister for Security and Defence, I agree with your position for the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes of Aotearoa. This is why I personally sent you a peace alliance for joinder. Your response on the th on the fifteenth of January two thousand twenty to that peace alliance was thanks. Uh, for the invite, a a ATM at the moment being inundated with dealing with the damage control with their um, gaslighting um, political games. 
Therefore, we just let you be as you were too busy. You see? So in other words, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't consent to it. But um, I, how she took that was that was was as if I accepted it. You know what I mean? Mm. But she's got here clear both the crown of the Māori nation and both our confederation of chiefs of the United Tribes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she she's she's like creating the joiner, but but as far as I'm concerned. Um, the our, seals are our, the our, seals are different. Yeah, the seals are different, and I just feel that um, uh, it's been us was usurped. Yep, it was usurped the same day. Yep, the same the day. The same day. And in the afternoon, well, what we did in the morning was got usurped in the afternoon. Mm. Yeah, that's fraud. Yeah. yeah, that's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No more? Yeah. Kia ora, John. Okay. Kia ora. Thanks. Yeah, right. Yep. All good. good. Thank you. Yeah.